Hello and welcome, my name is Sean Hargay and I will be reviewing the anime known as Helsing Ultimate. Um, this is a 10 episode series, I know, oh, it's gonna be so short, but actually each episode is about like one hour long. Um, throughout the whole series, it was just, it was just complete awesomeness of badassery. Um, I was inspired to actually look up the real Helsing because I watched uh, the abridged series made by Takahata101 on YouTube. He is part of Team Four Star. If you'd like to go check that up, I'll maybe put a link for that. Also, in the in the description, I will also put a uh, a few links to where you can actually go ahead and go watch this anime. And I would very I'd very much appreciate it if you go and go check it out. Maybe leave some comments of just you know how badass and awesome it is. Um. <clears throat> And throughout these 10 episodes of this series, I was just like, oh my god. And anyway, in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going over the most of the protagonist characters. And here we are coming up right now on the main character known as Alucard. And here he is. This is Alucard. He wields two 16 kilogram pistols with armor-piercing rounds. Um don't say like oh you how do you know that you're such a nerd but like no he stated it in the anime anyway he he is just badass he to be completely honest though he is sort of a monster he's killed millions of people but even still he is really cool also he can't die i know a lot of people have tried to kill him before it doesn't work and well yep and this is Sarah Integra, the boss and leader of the Helsing organization. She is basically Alucard's boss. Whatever she tells him to do, he just kind of does it like a lapdog. While well, she just kind of sits back, holds her badass sword, smokes her badass cigar, and just sits there like a badass. And, well, she, um, because of her great great grandfather who defeated Alucard on, in battle, that was the reason why he swore allegiance to the Helsing organization. The only reason he's the bodyguard of uh, Sarantegra is because when her the father died, all the inheritance was passed on to her. He found his chamber after his uncle was trying to kill her. She gave him a drop of blood, and she, th from that point on, he became her bodyguard. And this character is her name is Saris Victoria. She was a police guard. Uh, she was a policewoman. And she was basically, they call, they were called on duty to basically go check out this, check this thing out. And there was this vampire priest who basically turned a whole bunch of people into ghouls. And well, Alucard found her and basically shot her through the chest in order to kill the vampire behind her who was grabbing her. And then he turned her into a vampire. And well, now she now belongs to Sarantegra and is part of the Helsing organization. And here comes Walter C. Lynch, Butler and an ex-vampire hunter. Well, uh, Butler of the Helsing organization, an ex-vampire hunter. I don't really know much about the character, so it's going to be pretty short. Um, this is Father Alexander Anderson. His job is basically... He's part of a group called the Iscariots, who basically go around killing... Let's see, listed off, uh, vampires, werewolves, protestants, basically things like that. He's part of the, he's from the, uh, the church, and he, the Iscariot, basically in this anime, is like, under the, under the control of the Pope, and, you know, he, he's basically, he believes himself to be a righteous soldier from God himself, sent down to kill, you know, basically the people who've committed sins and things like that, and, well, yeah, you, you kind of get it. I mean, you could, you could just tell by his cross. Also, he has two bayonets, which you can see he's holding, that are, like, encrypted with, like, holy things. This is Pip Benodati. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's French. He's from a group called the Wild Geese, who were hired by the Helsing organization after a lot of their men were slaughtered. And, <laughs> non mercilessly. <laughs> no, it was just death. And then, uh... Basically, um, he ended up falling in love with a character named Saris. And, well, anyway, he, and, um, well, that was my anime review. Um, 
like, comment, subscribe, be much appreciated. Um, I'm sort of fickled here between doing Dead Man Wonderland next, Dead Man Wonderland, or Full Moon Alchemist Brotherhood. Please put a comment as to which I should do next. Thank you.